Did the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam mention any particular six days for a Muslim to fast in the month of Shawwal, or can a Muslim randomly select those days at his own will? As far as fasting in the month of Shawwal, the beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, it's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number two, in the book of fasting, hadith number two six one four. The Prophet said that anyone who fasts in the month of Ramadan and follows it with six days of fasting in the month of Shawwal, it is as though he has fasted for the full life, fasted perpetually or fasted for one year. The Arabic word is dhar. It means perpetually or full life. One of its meanings is also for one full year. So if you fast in the month of Ramadan, the complete month, followed with six days in the month of Shawwal, it's as though you have fasted for the full year. As far as fasting is concerned, that should we fast it immediately after the month of Ramadan or can we fast later on? Or should we fast consecutively or can we fast at random separately? The views of the scholars differ as far as this is concerned. But according to the authentic ruling, to the best of my knowledge, since the hadith does not specify that you should fast immediately, you can fast any six days in the month of Shawwal after the month of Ramadan has ended. Except for the hadith that you should hasten in the good deeds. So if you use that logic, then the earlier you fast, the better it is. So that you hasten in the good deeds. As far as fasting consecutively or separately, it doesn't make any difference. Though there are some people who say that you should fast together, then only it's valid. But there's no authentic hadith to prove that. You can fast together or at random or separately. So as long as you fast in the month of Shawwal. And... The third point of difference among the scholars is that since it's a voluntary fast, you can even decide, you can get up in the morning and if you want, you can make the niyyah at that time also. Though some of the scholars say no, because it's an important voluntary fast, you should make the niyyah one night before. But according to the ruling, according to the authentic hadith, you can even get up in the morning and then decide to fast as long as you have not eaten or drank anything. You have not violated the rules of fasting. These three points, fasting in the month of Shawwal does differ. But the authentic, I feel, is that you can fast any time of the month, either starting, ending, or late. You need not fast consecutively, you can fast consecutively also, as well as separately. And you can make the niyyah even late, as long as you don't break any rule of the fasting. Furthermore, it's not necessary that you have to fast every year. If you fast, it's good, alhamdulillah. But you can fast one year, next year you don't fast also, no sin. And suppose you don't fast and only two days of shawwal are left. That does not mean you cannot fast. If you fast for two days, you'll get the swap for two days. So the main hadith says that you should fast for six days in the month of Shawwal. After keeping Ramadan, it will seem as though you have fasted for the full year. Dr. Zakir, just further to the issue of fasting the six days in Shawwal, did the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu select number six, six days for any particular? Why wasn't it, for instance, five or seven or eight or nine? The reason Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam selected six days to fast in the month of Shawwal is because the complete hadith says you fast the complete month of Ramadan, then follow it with six days, it is as though you are fasting for the full year. And there's one more hadith which says that one deed is multiplied by ten deeds, ten hasnas. So if you fast for one month in the month of Ramadan, it's as though you have fasted for ten months. And then you follow it up with six days, six days multiplied by ten, it becomes sixty days, that's two months. So ten plus two months become twelve months. So that's the logic. He said six days, so that if you multiply the full month of Ramadan plus six days, it's equivalent to one full year.